Going through the comments underneath our video about the first episode of season three, it was brought to our attention that there was something in the credits that made it look like this might all be taking place on the holodeck. And that would go along with the trailer that we saw Moriarty. In particular, if you look at the end credits of episode one, there's a lot of stuff in there. There's some other interesting stuff. But the main thing in there is there's this holodeck initiation program and then like computer language that they were typing to make this holodeck program. And one of the lines was... Initiate hollow program. Well, it was initiate hollow program. And then it was like create LA-10 forward, which as we remember from last season, that's where Guinan's bar is located. That's where Riker was when the bartender was telling him nobody wants the fat galaxy class models of uh, the Enterprise. And in season two, that's where the... Yeah, that's where Guinan's bar was. That's 10 forward. That's where Picard went to see her. And so the reason that this idea stuck in my head as a maybe possibility is up to this point, we've been trying to avoid mentioning other channels. We did mention Robert Meyer Burnett, but Nerdrotic, Dave Cullen, The Critical Drinker, they've all had advanced screenings, and they've all said that this is pretty decent, and that episode one was not pretty decent. The question was, well, what happened here? What I'm wondering now, based on this commenter that pointed out this piece at the end, we've all mentioned the derivative music. The music in this episode is basically callbacks to older motion picture and TV soundtracks. The plot points are mostly recycled from older stuff. Captain Shaw is a caricature of a person. So I'm wondering, again, maybe this is just the Trekkie in me that wants to believe that this has to be better and that these big channels... These channels usually don't agree on pretty much anything 100% of the time, but they're all in agreement that this is a better season. So what we've been wondering, because we've been talking about it this morning, is, is this all a holodeck program? Is this really going to be a repudiation? Because how far back does the holodeck program go? Season two? Season one? Is this really Moriarty getting back at Picard? This would go along with, if you remember that Next Generation episode with Moriarty, I think it was Jordy was trying to play the Sherlock Holmes game with Data. He said, could you create a Arthur Conan Doyle-like story that Data could solve? And then they went in there, and all it was was a mashup of stuff. That was the first iteration. And the second iteration was, could you create somebody to defeat Data? So that first iteration of mashups, that's what we're seeing. That's what we saw in episode one. All it was was mashups. The lighting in this was darker than even the Picard seasons one and two. And we were all complaining that, well, geez, they didn't learn a lesson. This is just all more of the same. Now, I'm not saying that I know for a fact fact, this is not more of the same. But what if this is a holodeck program? They're basically in the Matrix at this point. That's why Dr. Crusher's acting all bizarre. That's why the lighting's so horrible. That's why the music are callbacks. That's why plot points are callbacks. The introducing of Geordi's daughter piloting the ship at the helm, that was very similar to Kirk's experience. What if this is just Moriarty going through the archives of not only what he knew the Next Generation people have been through, but just the Federation Starfleet in general, and they're just purposely, he's recycling plot points, just like when Geordi said, can we have a recreation of an Arthur Conan Doyle mystery? Because how else are they going to introduce Moriarty? We've seen him in the previews. What else would make sense? How else could he manifest himself into our world? Now, the only question with that, and that's mostly with Moriarty, is how did he survive when the Enterprise crashed the ship in Generations? But last I remember in the episode, that memory module that Moriarty was stuck in was given to Barclay. I don't think Barclay was on the Enterprise then, or at least you could argue he wasn't on the Enterprise then. Maybe he was somewhere else. Because we know later, through Voyager episodes, he was in Starfleet trying to help Voyager get home. So, what do you think about this, Molly? Well, I was suspicious about... Dr. Crusher's son. I was wondering, is he just a hologram? Is he a stolen child? Just basically speculating that he's not actually Picard's son. Seeing that in the closing credits about initiating the holo program, all I can say is this better not be a holo suite story. Because for me, that will be just like it was all a dream. I think that's what Dallas did. But weren't many and of us 
wanting that? Wanting Q to snap his fingers and to undo all this? It's one thing for Q to snap his fingers and have it all undone immediately and go on with the story. It's an entirely different matter to have somebody be telling you that this is so much better or that, no, this island isn't purgatory. And then you get to the end and it's freaking purgatory. Yeah, I, I do understand the, the reference Molly's making is if those of us who tried to watch Lost, the J.J. J. J. Abrams TV series, mm-hmm. and they were called Caught, I believe at the end of season one at a convention somewhere saying, well, is this all a purgatory? And like, no, 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 it's, it's certainly not. And then you watch several seasons later and it turns out to be a purgatory. What you're suggesting is, so if this turns out to be something very similar, a holodeck purgatory, that this is like going back to Lost, where it's like, well, then there's really no rewatchability in any of this stuff. Yeah, because none of it was real. Yeah. No. But Mm-mm. how far back does the simulation go? See, on Lost, it was when... Well, I won't go down that path. The plane went down and they were all in purgatory. But if our theory is true here, when did the holodeck simulation begin? Was it just this season? Was it all of season one and two? Like, when did the holodeck simulation begin? Because that LA 10 Ford, yes, it was in this season, but it also was in last season too. That's where Guinan, eventually, when she set up on Earth, she set up a 10 Ford on Earth. That was going back to season two. I guess what I'm saying as a a Trekkie, I might be open to the idea that if this is a way to reset this entire prime JJ continuity to get us back to the original continuity at the end, I might be on board with this. If this is just a little trick for only season three to say, oh, wink, wink, you were just in the Matrix for a season. I don't know. I appreciate that a lot of us might have gotten really riled up about the even more derivative music and the even more bad lighting. And so this would be like, well, look, they're making fun of it. Because that's the thing that didn't make sense to me either is Robert Meyer Burnett said they were getting digs at in this series at older Secret Hideout Trek. I didn't see that. There were some people trying to twist and make the interpretation, but these interpretations people were making didn't follow with, yeah, that's definitely what they were doing. But if this was a holodeck program where they were making things purposely derivative and purposely dark, even if it only applied to this season, it still would be a dig at the previous stuff because they'd be making fun of what happened in the previous stuff. And that, to me, follows. That would make sense on when Robert Meyer Burnett says they get digs in on the older stuff that Secret Hideout. Even so, I don't want another season of looking at the same crap that we've been shoveled for years now. Even if it's I want them to snap their damn fingers. I want Q to have snapped his fingers and now we can watch proper stories. I'm not wasting my time watching another season of shit just so people can say, oh, they were getting their digs in at the other stuff. No, I want to watch proper stuff. I don't want to be wasting my time watching more of the same crap. I hated that crap. Why would I put myself through that? Well, they're making fun of it. Yeah, but I don't want to waste my time making fun of it. I want to watch proper stories. That's why I'm here complaining, because I want proper stories. And nothing's ever going to change until people start complaining, I want proper stories. Yeah, the only way this is going to work is if this holodeck existed for both of those Picard seasons, the previous two seasons. If it's just for this season, this is just a gimmick, and it will be treated as such because it'll be lost, essentially. So I hope that if this is what's happening, that this encompasses the entire two previous seasons of Picard. That at least will wipe out. I can cross off Picard, the robot body, everything that was done in the Picard series as never happened. That's the best we're going to get from this is just crossing it off. But if it's just in season three, it's a gimmick, and I'm not sure how much rewatchability is going to be here. Wouldn't it be hilarious if... Remember how Picard was trying to let go of data in, I guess it was two seasons ago. Wouldn't it be just funny if this actually turned out to be he's still there and this is actually his purgatory after he got killed in season one and we're just on that feckin' island? It sounds like Molly's not on board with this idea. I'm a bit on on board but only if it encompasses the previous two seasons. But if what we're seeing right now, the darkness, the lighting, I mean, literally darkness on the screen, the recycled plot points, the recycled music, which is big time, the caricatures of people. If this goes back and erases the previous first two seasons as well, then maybe I'm on board with the bigger channels that are saying this is actually pretty good in the sense that it it at least crosses out the Picard series as something that even happened. If this is just a hollow sweet story, 
story, then to me, it actually makes it worse. So just my opinion on that. Well, that's our take on this. And I'm not sure this is even true. This is just after I saw somebody propose the beginning of this idea, we filled in the rest. But then my mind got churning and I started thinking that maybe this could be a way out for at least for crossing off Picard. But what do you think? If this is true, would this be good enough? If it's just season three in a holodeck, is that good enough for you? Season one and two, would that make it better? Or as Molly says, it doesn't matter. If they do it at all, it's just a big waste of time. It makes it worse. Leave your comments below and let us know what you think of this. Until next time, take care.